people want to be long stuff that's going up, right? Yeah, it's the chase. I guess. Okay, so why don't they why don't they want to be long this? You can't read the. Can you read this? No. What percentage so. of Americans think that America is on the wrong track? That hit a low, like pick the Obama lows. Twenty four percent of Americans uh, on the right track. Twenty people thought. Twenty four percent of Americans thought in 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 December when the stock market was careening to the lows last year. It's like 24, 25, 26 percent of Americans thought the country was headed in the right direction. You know what the number is as of last week? 47 percent. So I know that you watch your mainstream media because you have no other choice. I mean, if you had Steve Bannon on TV, you would have a different channel. But I think that he's got like a, even you, you may not like how he looks. You may not, talk about all the racism and all the ge gender and all the biases. I see all these people on the other side of this guy talking about how he looks. Yeah. you. you you got to really reconcile what's going on in this country. 47% of Americans now think that the country's headed in the right direction. That's a double off the low. And it was a very low low. So again, I, if you want to be long things that are going up, maybe the directional feeling of the American population is something you consider, if only against your political bias, if you're politically biased, to not like Trump, Steve Bannon, or anything that's going on currently. Uh, I'm not saying I'm in love with these guys. I'm not saying I hate them, though, either. And I think that that's actually the most important point, is that we don't have to love or hate these people. We just have to get the damn direction of the economy right. Yeah, for sure. Hard not to be biased if you have really strong views one way or the other. <laughs> How right. about this bias? Congressional job approval. You know what that is? You don't have to read the fine print. It's low. Yeah. Really low. Like 69% of Americans disapprove of Congress. So think about Trump. Trump's got two things. This is totally non-macro, by the way. It's just totally Keith McCullough ranting. He's got MSM and Congress. MSM and Congress. If you really look at his strategy, he's anti-mainstream media, MSM, and anti-Congress. <laughs> you know what the approval ratings are for these two things? Very, very low. He wakes up every day and he, he, he effectively enrages these two co constituencies. I'm just telling you to think a little differently. Not a lot, but he's got a lot of people that don't like these things more than they don't like him. Have you heard that yet? <laughs> it's new. Is it new? New content. Did I come up with new content? <laughs> I just thought of it. It's your right. It's good. I don't know. I, maybe people talk about it, this all the time. I mean, I, my Twitter feed's been just awful the last like month. Like, it's unbearable. Like I don't even want to look at it. So much crap out there. Well, I just don't. I don't pay attention to it. Yeah. I do my own work, and the reality is that congressional job approval and mainstream media trust are at all-time lows. That's a fact. Yeah. It's not necessarily a bad thing.